Hello everyone and welcome to the Paint and Picnic Virtual Workshop. Today we are going to be making the cutest little pink boot with a bouquet coming out the top. As you can see, we are using Master's Touch acrylic paint. All of these paint colors will be matched in the description box below. So we're first going to start off with a pencil and we're going to be outlining our canvas. We're going to be turning from landscape to portrait. From there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start by making a J shape. We're going to start roughly towards the middle of our canvas, going towards the left hand side. From there, we're going to curve out and this is going to make the toe of our boot. This is going to be a C shape. After that, we're going to be making a mark just to the right hand side now this is going to be our connecting point for the bottom of our boot so from the c we are just making a curve bowing towards the middle and then up towards the point we made from there we're going to go ahead and make the heel by just making a triangle and then finishing it by rounding out the top and connecting it to our j from there, we're just going to go ahead and buff out any edges, reshape our boot. Now, this is a great time to change anything up that we want, erase any marks, and like I said, really just change the shape. If we want something more pointed or, um, you know, maybe less pointed, this is our time to do that. As you can see, I'm just going to round out the top of my boot to be a little bit taller. Just adding a little bit more height. And this doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Um, we're going to be painting over this anyways. But we just want to get a very rough draw on here. So that we know what shape we're going for as we paint. From here, we're going to be making the top strap. We're just going to start by making a small rectangle at the top of our boot. We want it to be going long ways down. From the middle of this triangle, we're going to make a line down to the center of our heel. This is going to start the stitch work on our boot. From there, we're going to make these beautiful little box lines, and we're doing this by pulling out into a V shape and then following the curve. And as you can see, I've just made a zigzag to connect to the bottom. From there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start adding the little stitch work that is on the top of our boot. This is going to be the same sort of jaded pattern that we had at the top. And as you can see, I'm just outlining that pattern and I'm going to go back through and I'm going to outline that top pattern that we made first. From there, I'm going to add the three little dots in the middle and our two dots, one at one end and one at the other. We're going to add one more dot to the top. And then from there, we're going to start making our stitch lines. Now, these don't have to be perfect. We're just adding this little itty bitty jaded line in between our two structures and this is just going to add like i said that stitching look three lines to the top and a couple of lines to the bottom 
From here, we're just going to take a second outline to that middle stitching, and then we're going to start on the other side of our boot. Now from here, we're just going to make our three lines mimicking the top, and we're kind of going to be mirroring the other side of the boot this entire time and doing this same jaded V pattern. As you can see, I'm being very careful to try to make it as even as possible with the other side of my boot to kind of try to create this symmetrical shape. From here, I'm just adding two lines of stitching and then highlighting that inner curve of the boot with that one last stitch line. From here, I'm just going to go ahead and add any little accent marks that need to be added. As you can see, I still need to outline our boot. And we're adding our little circle stitches. Now for this one, we are going to make it a little bit different. And we're going all the way along the outside edge like it would be on a regular cowboy boot. Okay, and then we're just going to go in and add those couple little punch marks to make it symmetrical with the other side. Okay, from here we're going to slide it down and we're going to be working in this top area. This is going to be where we're adding our bouquet. So starting with four lines, these are going to become our main flowers. From there, we're going to be making our petal leaves, and we're just doing this by creating two sharp lines that point out. And we can add any extra foliage here that we want to. I'm just trying to keep it kind of tight and packed together so it doesn't look like it's just overflowing from our boot. At the end of all four of our original lines, we're going to be adding circles and then petals for our daisies. Now these petals don't have to be perfect. We just want an overall outline to see kind of where we're going to be putting our flowers while we're painting. From there, you can see we're just going to be going through and adding some extra foliage and our three extra daisies now these daisies are lining the outside of our boot so we want one two three going all the way along the outside curve as you can see this is where i'm kind of adding some more of that foliage some line work i like to add these little vine foliage things. I just take and do one solid line and then create small circles down that original line. As you can see, I'm adding one more here and one more to the side. And they're just quick little circles. These don't have to be perfect either, guys. They just need to be a rough outline. This is what it should look like when you're done. From there, we're going to be going in with this pink and this white color. Yes, that white is a little overused. It should like look like this when you're done. And as you can see, I've kind of sped this up. This is a kind of long process. Do be careful not to go over into your boot. And when you get to the top of your canvas, make sure you very roughly outline. And boop, and we're all done. From there, we're going to be going in with a little bit more white and whatever leftover we have from our original color. And we're just very carefully going through our boot. Now, I am making this super, super, super thin, you guys. And that's so that we can kind of see that line work underneath because we will be going back through and highlighting this later. And we don't want to completely lose that work that we did and so that we know what we're doing later. And we don't have to um, go back through and read line.
From here, I'm going to go in with this just the plain dark um, pink color. And we're going to be outlining the outside of our boot. Now, this is a little bit tedious and it is going to take a little bit while. But do be patient with it, you guys. I promise it'll be worth it. These beautiful clean lines. And just a pro tip, if you use a smaller brush, it will make it easier to make those thinner lines. If you use those thicker brushes, it can be harder to overline or underline or kind of get that uneven looking line. From here, I'm just going to go through and we are going to be completely coloring that bottom portion of our heel. Now, we do want to leave kind of this white outline. So, do be careful that we're not completely overlining. We just want to kind of create this contrast on the bottom of our boot. Now, from here, we are going to go through and we're going to highlight a few of these lines. We're not doing all of them because we are going to be going over it later with Sharpie. But um, we do want to add a little bit of this pink color. After that, we're going to be going in with this beautiful dark green. And we're going to be covering all of our leaves and foliage. And as you can see, I'm just very lightly outlining each one. And this is a great moment to cover any white spots that we may have missed when we originally covered our canvas in the pink or to kind of change the shape that we want our leaves to be to kind of make it more realistic. From here, we're going to go in with this secondary green color, and we're just going to be adding it as an accent feature with this extra foliage. These are any of those marks that we had made earlier with those little circles. Now, anywhere where we had a circle, we're going to be making a little dab of paint. Now, we can either turn over the back of our brush and use the bottom and that will make a more perfect circle or we can use our regular brush and just very lightly create these dots it's really just a matter of preference from there, we're going to be going in with just our white and a large flat brush, and we're going to be going over our petals. Now, we want to create a really thick textured petal look, so we do want to leave quite a bit of paint on our brush. So we're just going to take a large chunk of paint and just very lightly brush onto each one of those drawn petals. Now, if you feel like you need to add a couple of extra petals, this is a great time to do that, or if you feel like you want to make your petals a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner, this is also a great time to do that.
From here, we're going to go in with this beautiful bright yellow, and we're just going to be dotting each center. Once again, we're going to want a little bit more paint on our brush, and it's okay to kind of go back and forth and um, add more or add less, but this is just going to add our centers to our flowers. Same color and whatever's left over from the extra brush. We are just doing some little dabs to the end of our foliage. Um, as I said earlier, these don't have to be perfect. This is just going to create a little bit of a flowered look on those leaves that we had created earlier. And it's just going to um, add a little bit of extra texture to our painting and pull together those yellows that we have in the center of our daisies. Once the canvas is dry, you can just go ahead and touch it and see if you get any paint. Um, we're going to go ahead and go in with the Sharpie and we are going to outline all of the extra stitching that we have and any accents we want to our boot. So I'm just going to go ahead and start on these V patterns and then down to our squiggle bar and that secondary structure and of course all of our little dot stitches and our three lines at the top as you can see this kind of adds definition to our boot and i don't know it kind of makes it look a little bit real right like this is how a cowboy boot tends to look with all of its stitching sitting there and i think it absolutely looks like a beautiful contrast in comparison to all of the pink we have going on And that's it. That's our beautiful bouquet cowboy boot. Thanks so much for coming along with us, guys. And I hope to see you guys next time.